Well, we will see them maybe in infrared later, but for now, how beautiful are these colors? We get the pinkish last sun rays of the sky, and then the blue, and then the greens of the trees, and then the elephants down in the drainage line. Sometimes I wish we could capture what we see and just capture, be able to capture in a photo that it would come out just as good as what we are experiencing now. Mm. All of the alleys are still there. There's been a few more fights between all of the youngsters for the same hole because obviously they all want to drink from the same one even if there are a few of them around because what's the fun in sharing when we can just fight for that particular one. And then a few older females, and I think there are two older youngsters to the left that have been pushing back and forth <laughs> with the female in the middle not letting them fight all that much and just making sure that they all behave and they play nice. <laughs> Little one still with quite a muddy face. I think he's just having fun playing with the water. keeps drinking. He comes to this one and he drinks a little bit and then he goes back to the other one and he drinks a little bit from there. Machine Gun Nest, you're wondering how good the sense of smell of an elephant is. Well, it's fantastic. They can pick up many scents and many things that are floating around that are completely unknown to us. We couldn't even be able to, to smell, a, I don't think, even a third of what they're able to pick up from all around the bush. So we were actually talking about the other day, I think maybe if we could smell as much of the elephants that we would get headaches because of the overload of information that's coming our way. But they can pick up things, depends, for example, if the wind... <laughs> I think maybe you now have been pushed out by a bigger elephant. Depends on, on the wind. Sometimes if the wind carries a smell for quite a distance, they are able to pick up smells that are many kilometers away from them. I think like everything, we've got to be aware of the area that they're in. So the more open a particular area, probably they'll be able to pick up in the smells that are being carried off from a further distance that perhaps like in a place like this where it's a bit thicker and they're you know they come down into the drainage lines or the dry riverbeds and then they go all the way up and there are lots of trees and very thick vegetation she's definitely not sharing look at her it's like nope go away i have shared with you enough i think as they start getting older then the mums start becoming a bit more strict on the youngsters and they won't share everything with them anymore it's also a way of getting them to to learn to fend for themselves <laughs> are you playing often elephants will young males will play with each other and a good way of showing their dominance is putting their trunk on the opponent and i think this is an easy fight because that one is it's almost like it wants to go on the ground up oh, you win Hear the roughness of their skin. Okay, enough now. All getting up. <laughs> There's a little one getting in there as well. Pushing the little, but the little one wants to play too. Or maybe there's something in there that they're finding particularly wonderful. Maybe there is a sandy patch that they're all using to scratch themselves. Or maybe this little one is just exhausted and has decided that this is the spot where he's going to have a nap. Pardon? Yeah, we can. Let's go. Let's swap to infrared. See how well it'll look. Ah, much clearer. Isn't that amazing? I think it's definitely not sleeping time just yet. Got the two little ones playing around with each other and the rest of them, you see even if they're playing with their trunks and their feet, they're quite gentle with the little ones. They won't step on them. Just watching their feet and what they do and how they move. But this is a proper elephant tangle. Scratching themselves against the other elephants. <laughs> the 
is wonderful. Fox Hat, you're wondering if humans can differ, uh, if humans, if elephants can differentiate between human voices and accents. Well, I think accents is a bit too much. I don't think they're able to tell that I wasn't born in South Africa, but I'm pretty sure that they know that I'm a human and they know that this type of voice and that this type of sound that is coming from me belongs to a different species. In some areas, as a matter of fact, they've done studies and they've actually learned to recognize that elephants have a particular noise that they make to communicate with each other that they've seen human. The same way that they're able to communicate to each other that, for example, they've seen danger or a lion or anything else, there is a particular noise that they make to say, well, hello, this is a human, everyone be aware of it. And they, they measured the frequencies and the, the, particular, the particularities of the noise that, that they were making when they were spotting humans. And that's how they came to this conclusion. I think, I want to say that this study was done in Zimbabwe, but I actually think it was done in Kenya somewhere. So I'm not too sure of the location of where it was made from. But elephants are such incredible and smart creatures that I am sure that they are one of the, the few animals that even when they see us in a vehicle, they know that there's somebody, and although I've got absolutely no proof of this, I think they're able to know that, you know, it's a person driving and then they, it's another thing altogether. Maybe they don't know that we can be split and be apart, but they are so clever that sometimes I'm just sure that they know. I think this little one is loving that sandy patch in there. <laughs> and the older ones are quite curious about this little ones moving around and playing like that. So there's a lot of trunks that I see moving in there. <laughs> a lot of pushing. Oh, there's a tiny one down there. I don't think you're going to be able to sleep. Definitely waking you up. 